Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome back to my little corner of Al Gore's internet. And welcome to another episode of Calendar Girl. We are in uh, Harmony's apartment. She's been boogieing down. And I'm so forever grateful that she's in a great mood because... Uh, when I played earlier this week, yes, I did record an episode earlier this week, but it just didn't go down the way I wanted to. Um, she was moody. I was moody. It just wasn't a good, it wasn't a good vibe. It wasn't a good just move for either one of us. So I decided that we needed to have a do-over because every now and then, just in life in general, we all need a do-over. I definitely needed one this week. Look, our radio broke. Um, but uh, you can see that she's in a new outfit. We went shopping at the Galleria. She picked up this little cutesy dress. This is something that was in the game. I did not know this was in the game. This might be a swatch actually that I'm not familiar with, but I thought it was so adorable. So I had to pick it up. It's not generally her style, but Harmony is one of those women that loves to play around with clothing. She doesn't have a particular style, I guess. She just thinks that dressing up is kind of a an affair you know what i mean like you dress like you feel if you're feeling um playful you wear something a little playful if you're feeling a little eclectic you find something that matches that mood and that's how she's feeling right now not necessarily eclectic but she's feeling like i don't know old-fashioned 50s style because that's what the vibe that that is giving me with the cute little flats um, but yeah, so let's not talk about style. Let's get into this LP, shall we? So, um, she did have an assignment and if you guys did notice, there's a few changes, um, that have been made to the apartment. I went ahead and added a kitchen table and some chairs because when she has company, um, it's not conducive to just sit at the counter because she only has two spots. We did add a couch, but it's just nice to actually sit down and have a meal at the kitchen table you know like civilized folks even though i eat sometimes standing up or leaning up the couch watching tv yeah i am a peasant <laughs> anyway so we have our friend out here dosi once again at the mailbox i'm telling you guys dosi is at the mailbox entirely too much it's daily and it's more than once a day i'm starting to get a little suspicious about our girl over here but we're gonna come out here and um have a chit chat with her anyway just greet her ask her about her day see what's going on maybe she wants to get into something because it's in three o'clock for almost four o'clock in the afternoon and uh, harmony doesn't really have any assignments um and she's just kind of taking the day off she does this quite a bit, but whatever. Um, I do know that she will have to go into the office tomorrow. So we'll definitely do that. But for now, we're just going to take advantage of this free time that we have on our hands. So um, she did really, really like the gallery. And she wants to uh, have Dosi go back with her um, to do some more shopping. She's just that kind of mood. She's got a little extra something, something in her pocket. So why don't we just head back over to the mall? Maybe we'll pick up Matri on the way. I don't know. We'll see. We have arrived at the Galleria. Isn't this cool? This is the coolest thing. I really wish that we had uh, malls in the game for real. For real. I mean, we have retail stores, but nothing like this. Actually, um, one of my favorite games um, when I was growing up was mall madness it's not a thing now it might be i don't know it could be a, a thing but i used to love that game it was like the girls like the girliest like game ever because you could actually shop um and you had credit cards and everything it's actually probably not a great game because <laughs> it has credit cards <laughs> so it kind of encouraged you to spend some money um using credit cards I don't know. Don't get into credit card debt, people. Just a life tip. Anyway, so this place has some really cool stores. Uh, there is a, I guess this is a pet store. And over here, we've got the bathrooms, ATM machines. There's a little coffee shop. Down here, we've got like, what is this? Like a Bath and Body Works, Perfume, Perfume Mania. I don't know. This might be, what is this? This might be um, Nordstrom's Dillard or something. 
Um, this might be some men's shop. I don't know. And the toy store, KB Toys. Anybody? No. And what? Nike, Nike Town. That's a Chicago thing, I think. And what is this? This is the Gap. <laughs> <laughs> and if I remember, there was like an Apple store. This is the parking garage. Must be upstairs. Um, oops. This looks like Build-A-Bear, but it's not. It's a Chinese restaurant. That's cool. Um, I thought I saw. Here it is. This is so cool. And you can actually come in here and buy stuff. Um, but so she's actually wanting to buy, pick up something. Um for her well okay so everyone wants her to go on a date with Cairo people have been screaming in the comments for her um, for Harmony to go in go on a date with Cairo now she's here with Meche and Corey and uh well I thought that Dosey came with us but let's um let's, I don't know let's discuss video games with her at least acknowledge that she's with us Corey's over here looking fly as usual we really need to give these girls a makeover because they've been wearing this rocking the same outfit for like the longest and we really need to give them some some different attire so um we're just going to oh we found out that Harmony um or at least Corey is seldom sleepy okay that's good to know, I guess. Um, okay, so we are going to come in here and look for an outfit. There's Dosie. Um, we've already spoken to her. So our our here's our game plan. Um, he hasn't exactly officially asked her out. He has, it seems like he's been meaning to. He does show up in some of the darndest places. And, you know, um, it's like he's raring. You see, there's that outfit right here. Okay, now she's getting ready to dip, buy that outfit. So now everybody's going to be looking like her. Oh, my mom called. Sorry, mom. We're at the mall. I love you. But um, we're going to cancel. Ooh. No, we're going to mm, No, we're going to cancel. Okay. Mom, I'm really busy right now. I love you. And I will definitely call you when we get home. All right. So we're, we're like moving around too much. We are here to find an outfit for a possible date with Cairo. And again, here is, oh, now we're gonna have to change our outfit. We have to change our whole outfit. Everybody can't go around looking like us. I mean, I understand that Harmony can be a bit of a fashion plate and maybe she's inspired people. <laughs> that sounds so conceited. We're not conceited. Harmony's not conceited at all. She just likes Spanish, uh, Spanish. she likes fashion. She's a little tense too. Um, all right, so this doesn't look like a very date night outfit. I mean, it kind of does. It's cute. But um, our intention was to, let's go here together. How about that? Was to find something. Now she looks like her. Um, I'm not seeing anything. Let's, let's check out over here. I mean, this is very casual. I do like the sweater. The cardigan's really cute. And that's just not. None of these are either. So we're looking at some lackluster um, options. What's in here? Um, a loiterer. Okay. Um, nothing in here either. So nothing's really catching her eye. We may have to go online and do some shopping. May have to do that. But she's a little depressed because she's like, everybody's got going to have my outfit on. Um, but yeah, nothing's really catching our eye. Maybe we can grab some coffee before we head out because um, I'm a little turned around. Okay, is it up here? Yeah. Um, I don't think, I think we have to hire someone to come in here. Might have to. Um... Ugh, we have to spend our own coin. All right, let's see if we can just hire a specific person. No. Let's just hire staff. Let's hire a barista. I really do not want to spend our own coinage. Um, but, okay, girl, I'm going to get you into a bathroom as fast as I can. Go ahead. Go use the restroom. And, oh, you can't get in? Is this, okay, so this is, 
Um, can we use this one? Okay, so this must be... Oh, this is the men's bathroom. Okay, oh. Uh, well, I don't know where the... Oh, it must be over here. Okay, there we are. You can use this one, I think. Yeah, this is women's. That was men's. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't know. I did not know. All right, it's getting a little late. We're going to go ahead and have her use the bathroom. This was a kind of a loss because there was nothing here. And that just happens at the mall. I go there every now and then. It's just a bust sometimes. This is why I enjoy shopping online because you can find whatever you want. Uh, yeah, so we will go home, probably do a quick uh, ob observe, observation of what we have in our itinerary already. And it's late, so maybe we can't call Cairo tonight, but maybe we can at least get ready for the, you know, tomorrow, because we're definitely going to ask him out tomorrow. But we do have to head to the office tomorrow, and we'll definitely get that done. So I will catch you guys in just a moment. It is the following day, and we did need to come in to work. Um, she's around here somewhere. Ooh, look at the pretty twinkle lights. These are so cute. Oh, my voice cracked. Okay, it's the third day of summer, so I don't know what these are about, but they're super adorable. Um, so we're back at Simlish, and... They were supposed to be having some kind of meeting. Um, so I'm going to have them all come upstairs. Um, I kind of want to make this um, an official clubhouse so no one else can come in. But I think if I do that, it's going to ruin the aesthetic of the building. If I exchange some of the doors for the club, um, like down here. But I don't know. All right, so we're supposed to be having this uh, quick meeting. Um, Harmony's early as usual. Everyone else is late. Uh, she's just gonna. She's feeling uh, another 50, 50s vibe like this. I love this whole look. Um, am I the only one that noticed that Harmony's getting a little thick? A little thick. She's a little thick. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just noticing. And she's feeling really good about herself. Um, she's gained a little weight from eating good in the city. But like I said, nothing wrong with that. All right. So they actually came in because they got a new photographer. And, um, whoa, he came in all super casual. Um, and they're playing musical chairs. This is her boss over here. Um, whoops, didn't need to do that. What's his name? Um, I wish everybody would just sit down and his name is, let me scroll out, Xavier Marin. He is her boss. Um, and this is one of her coworkers, Aaron Matthews. She loves him to death. They're really good friends or they become good friends. And of course, Meiji over here looking all forlorn. I don't know what's going on with her. She's probably not really feeling coming to the office. When you're used to working at home, you definitely do not like going to the office. I can attest to that. Um, let's, let's greet this new, the new guy. Uh, we did kind of meet him before in passing, but not officially. I guess the meeting was adjourned. Uh, everybody looks sad. What is going on? I mean, she's tense because, of course, outnumbered, being near strangers. Okay, yeah, she's a loner. So she's always going to feel extra tense coming into the office. She really doesn't know a lot of people. Uh, but he just looks super sad. And her, Miss Perky over here has probably been on her third cup of coffee. Um, so let's get to know him. Compliment his outfit. He looks really, oh, he's hungry. You know, we can definitely go out to lunch. Uh, she probably is a little hungry here. So she's okay. So let's get to know um, Xavier. No, his name is not Xavier. Her name is Ethan. His name is Ethan Malone. Um, he is from overseas. Um, he's from Scotland, and um, he's just here on a work visa, thinking about trying to make the States his permanent home. But he has a new photographer on the staff, and I'm not going to have her complain about uh, the boss, but let's ask him about his day. How are you liking the state so far? 
Uh, it's pretty good. The food's really good, and um, the, the city's really, really beautiful. Oh, well, anytime you need a personal tour guide, I'd be happy to help you out. I'm fairly new to the city myself, but I've definitely got to know some of the hot spots. Um, okay, I guess they're going on about their day. She does need to get some work done. Um, let's see if we can grab an assignment. We're right here, freelancer. Let's see what's what we got. Let's see if there's anything good. Um, maybe we can find something that's paying out a little bit more because we do need some, some money. Make sure our bills are up to snuff. What, is she looking? Do we have anything? Okay. Oh, and our rents do so there we go all right so our writing skill has gotten up pretty high i'm we're not quite maxed out yet but i definitely want to give her a little bit of a challenge um let's go with this one that old mystery you know we're working on solving the real life mystery of who wrote the piano classic for bella the mysterious song that almost anyone who plays the piano eventually learns who wrote it and why and why does everyone keep asking about it so this pays out 3,115 simoleons, and it's due by Friday. All right, so we have a few days. It requires a, a writing skill level of nine. We're going to try. Last time we tried something that was a little above our skill level. We failed, but we're definitely going to try. Now, I did go ahead and... what Did, did we earn some money? We earned some so a few dollars. Um, I did go ahead and pick out her new outfit for um, her potential date, but um, I won't show you guys right away. It'll be a little bit of a surprise. She looks really cute in it, I think, but we, we haven't even called Kyra yet, so this is going to be kind of one of those things where we're going to spring it on him, but I want to come in here and talk to our boss, see how he's doing. Um, he's actually really cute. If he wasn't our boss, if he just wasn't our boss, um, yeah, he might be some dating. My, our mom really wants her to come see her. Mom, we will actually come visit you, but she wants us to meet her at the Boho Cafe. She is hungry. It's lunchtime. Well, it's close to lunchtime. I hate to keep blowing off our mother because family is very important to Harmony. So let's go ahead and go and say hi to our mom, have some lunch with her. I wanted to go speak to Xavier, but I guess we can come back and talk to him another time. But you guys do see how cute he is. I mean, he's, he's cute. We are in the town of Willow Creek. And, um, oh, K-Straight just welcomed us to Go-Getters. When did we join Go-Getters? I don't remember that. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did join because we wanted to try something new. Um, and she hasn't really been painting, but this might be um, the perfect opportunity to get some inspiration. Look at this place. It's so gorgeous. Another winner, guys, that I've downloaded from a, uh, The Sims Resource. Super pretty place. Um, you can even come out here and eat on the deck. It has some alpha content in it, but I don't mind mixing and matching a little alpha with a little Max's match. Um, but I am quite, quite, quite impressed with this little, um, boho look. Um, she's looking awfully cute in her little skirt and top. Um, uh, but also this is just a cafe. So we're definitely just going to be eating light, which is fine because we have every intention of um, going out to eat tonight. That's our plan. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but, um, oh, did you see the look she gave this lady right here? Harmony, you need to drink that coffee because obviously you're in a bad mood. And, oh, her mom looks so cute and her little peplin top. Look at her strut. Okay, okay, mom. Strut your stuff. Look at this candle. This is so cute. Okay, let's come in here and talk to mom. Where Where is she going? Oops. Let's come in here and talk. Look at me. Um, and sit and chat. Um, her mom is so beautiful. Such an adorable person. What is she eating? I'm just curious. Looks like a uh, croissant. It's a scone. Uh, okay. Uh, who is this guy? Really? He's going to come take my spot? 
I guess, uh, okay, he's nice shorty shorts. All right, let's chat up with mom. Mom, you've, um, you're, uh, you're here again. What's going on? Um, oh, she's not in a good mood. Okay. I'm so glad to see you. You've been coming out here a little more often. Yeah, I really, really miss you. And your dad just wants to keep a close eye on you. Mom, I'm fine. I'm so fine. It's, it's great out here. Everybody's been wonderful and I'm really enjoying the city. I know you guys worry, but I'll be okay. So who's this guy that uh, you've been talking to? Your dad did tell me that you met someone. Well, okay. I'm, we're seeing each other, but it's not official. And I'm not really sure if it's going anywhere at this point. But that's okay. I've got plenty of time to get to know other people. This is a big city. And there's plenty of fish out here. Okay, Santa Claus came to sit down. Chris Kringle. Um, Clement Frost, whatever your name is. Uh, just come on in. The water's fine. Let's just make this a whole party. I really would like to take a picture with our mom because we don't have any pictures of our family. Maybe we can do that. So let's take a photo with our mom. Um, he's killing me with those shorts over there, guys. He really is. Um, I think this will be a perfect little spot, too, to take a picture. Um... Okay, that <laughs> just no. Okay, that's not a good spot. Let's let's go over here together and take a picture. Maybe we can get a better picture. That was terrible. That was terrible. Bad. Um, let me see. Let's try this again. Take a photo with uh, Sanaya. Okay, now let's try. If I get another curtain, okay, much better. This is so cute. They look so adorable. She looks so much like her mom. Um, let's just take all of these because she's not a good photographer. So just in case, let's give your mom a hug. Um, oh, let's see. Let's brighten her day. Then let's give her a hug. I think we can give her a hug. Uh, there we go. Give Mom Dukes a hug. I really like that little peplum top. That is super cute. Her mom's got a little bit of a flair for fashion. No wonder Harmony likes clothes. She's asking how Dad's doing. Um, let's continue to ask her about her day. She's like, I got a surprise for you, Dad. You can't tell him, but our anniversary's coming up. And I'm taking him out of town. I think you guys deserve a vacation. You guys work so hard. Oh, we're definitely going to Sulani just to have some time on the beach and the sun. You know, just to rekindle the romance. I mean, we don't have any issues in that department, Mom. I don't want to hear it. Please do not share. All right. Well, it's been great seeing you, Mom. I've got to get going back to the office. Love you. Bye. All right. So we are going to actually head back to the office maybe um grab a few papers come and then leave i do want to kind of tour um this beautiful town with the new orleans vibe but we really don't have that kind of time right now however um i did find out from a little birdie that cairo lives in windenburg and um, she hasn't really a clue where he lives, um, but that's definitely something that we're going to find out at some point. But right now we're going to not invade his privacy and just show up at his doorstep because that would just be stalking. Um, but we're definitely going to um, give him a ring ring when we get home. So we're gonna go to the office first and then I'll catch you guys at, uh, at home. Before we go home, I guess I just wanted to check on Dosi, see how she's doing. And uh, I don't think we've ever really been in her place. Uh, maybe we have. I don't remember. But um, she's got a really cute little apartment. I love the colors, the gray and yellow. These are really cute colors, actually. A really cute combination. Yellow happens to be, again, one of my favorite colors. Um, and Dosi, I'm feeling this whole vibe. This is really 
really cute. Her apartment is so much cuter, but um, she's in the back somewhere, so I definitely want to come and say hello. Why is she not wearing the clothes that we picked out for her? We took her shopping before, and she's still wearing that same outfit. I'm getting a little suspicious, Dosie. I am. Um, but let's come in and say hello. I hate invading her room like this, but um, hey, girl, what's up, Dosie? Dosie. What? Dosie. What is this? Dosi, what is going on here? Why do you have such a huge monitor and this server in your room? Um, honey. Uh, yeah, what, what is this? What is, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is going on? Uh, girl, don't, don't, don't even, don't even worry about that. I just have this, I have this little hobby. Um, I, I like to hack and I've been doing this since I was a kid. And in order for you to really hack into some, some high profile places, you need a good, uh, computer and, uh, a server. And I, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about guys. It just sounds good. Let me know in the comments below if you know, <laughs> but, um, I, I, uh, I'm a little suspect. I did say that Josie does go to her mailbox quite a bit. So let me find out because she doesn't go to work. Let me find out Josie is hacking her rent. <laughs> Our friend is a thief. Oh my gosh. Uh, did we find out anything else about her? Do we know about our friend? Uh, we don't know anything about her. We know that she's unemployed. Um, maybe we can find out something else about her because we're on the verge of becoming best friends and we have no idea what she does um, for a living. We do, well, I guess she's unemployed, but yeah, let's get to know her. Um, let's see if we can find out a couple uh, hidden traits about her because she is not divulging. And I am really suspicious about this server. She's a spice hound. Okay, we do know that she likes spicy foods. I have seen her down uh, some spicy curry with no problem whatsoever. Um, let's see, where else can we, where is the, uh, crap. I just like went completely by it. Okay. Where'd she go? She went down the hallway. We went to go potty. Is she not checking her mail again? Y'all see, this is what I'm talking about. She is checking her mail again. Dosi. We need to have a talk. We need to discuss some things. Um, but before we do that, I need to actually give a ring ling to um, send a happy text to Cairo. Um, see what he's up to tonight. Maybe we can catch his attention. I really like that mirror on her wall. Um, girl cereal cereal you can eat any time of the day so she did oh uh -huh. yes Cairo by all means I am perfectly happy with going out it's so early though <laughs> like we weren't trying to bait him in the first place okay guys okay 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 we have to figure out where we're gonna go he wants to go to desert bloom park i don't know okay if we get here and it's not what we think it is we're going to go elsewhere i have this perfect little spot uh she's got this all planned out uh and she's really hungry so it's like perfect so if we get here and it's a bust we're definitely heading over to um windenburg and to try this this little this little Italian restaurant that she's found, but I will, we'll see, we'll see you guys, um, in just a moment. I'm going to take a quick peek at Desert Bloom. And then if it's not where it's at, we're going to head over to the Italian restaurant. So we might see you guys there. All right. So we made it to this little Italian villa and he looks so cute. Look at him. She's all dressed up. He's all dressed up. 
They look good. They really need to take a picture. Let's let's take a picture now. Um, take a picture, girl. Take a picture. Uh, yeah, that's right. Why do I always do this? Take a photo with Cairo. Um, Akila, I or Aika, Acha. I need. I don't know how to say your name. I need you to. I know you're gonna be all in the picture. You're going to be all in the picture. I'm going to have to cut part of his head off. I mean, it's not a great picture, but it'll do for now. I'm really liking this, though. They look so cute together. He is adorable. Okay. For some, the ones out in the in the back seats, you know, um, the ones way in the back who are questioning why she's out with Kyra when Adam is still waiting in the wings. Adam is going to continue waiting in the wings at least for now. Um, we don't know what his deal is. Um, he's, is she really swimming in the pool, in the water? You're a little uncouth girl, but we're gonna come over here and ask for a table. I think sitting right here is um, a little perfection. Um, but this is just a little Italian villa, very romantic spot. Um, and um, anyway, so yeah, Adam is, just he's been placed on the back burner uh up until um, i guess when he decides what he wants to do but you know harmony um just doesn't have a lot of time to waste uh or she doesn't appreciate it being wasted so um now we've got a mr april um and he, that is cairo so she's going to make it a um a priority to get to know Mr. LaRoe. Let's chit chat with him. I'm really loving this place. This place is cool. Where did you find this place? Um, actually in my wanderings with my girls, we happened to see this across the way and I've been wanting to check this place out for the longest. Um, let's go ahead and let them order. I'm really not feeling the, <laughs> the dude is swimming. He's having a good old time swimming in the water. This place is really, really beautiful. Um, let's flirt with him. You're beautiful. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling that too. Um, she's not in a good mood. She's really, really, really hungry. Um, so let's. Mm, Let's ask him about his day. You know, I'm glad you asked me. I've been trying to ask you out for the last few weeks. I've been kind of hesitating. I didn't think you would accept. Well, I've been wanting you to ask me out. Um, I know you're seeing that guy, Adam. Well, it's not really official, but, um, you know, I we're just dating. We're just having a good time getting to know each other. And I mean, it's not really going anywhere right now. And I just thought that maybe this would be a great time to, you know, get to know you. I know that's probably um, not the usual thing for girl, uh, someone to admit that they're seeing someone else. Um, but I, you know, want to be honest with you and upfront. I'm glad you're doing that. Um, I definitely would love to pursue something with you. But I just want to make sure that you know that I'm serious. And I don't want any confusion. Um, I understand totally. But um, let's not talk about this right now. Let's enjoy the atmosphere. Let's enjoy the dinner. And um, yeah, let's just enjoy each other's company. And, you know, like you said, take it slow and see where things go. I agree with you completely, but in the meantime, we can uh, continue to flirt a little bit, you know? Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Please let the meal come in, on time because it is like totally, totally, totally late. It's midnight. Uh, she's got some work to get done. Oh, sweet. It's here. She's really hungry. She has the point where she's about to be hangry. Oh, no. It's not raining. Oh, man. Well, that sucks. 
Aww. Oh, well. Well, anyways, eat your food, guys. Is she running away from the rain? She is. Girl, there is nothing wrong with a little water. <laughs> uh, just come out here and eat. Oh, we're going to have to take these home. All right, tell you what. Uh, just Oh, she just prayed before she ate. Okay. Um, maybe we should go ahead and take this to the, the house because I don't feel like any rain to on it. I'm sure you don't either. So let's end this date. Uh, pay the bill and go back to her place. It's a little late, but um, I'm sure neither one of them wants to sit here in the rain and eat. This is the bad place about eating out on the terrace. We'll see you guys in just a moment. Oh, he changed really quick. Um, she's still in a flirtatious mood, even though she's a little tense from all the, the rain. But maybe they should go ahead and exchange, officially exchange numbers. She looks really good in that dress, guys. I love that dress. It is so cute. That is totally my style. Um, let's express, express, let's express our imagination. Um, and let's go ahead and express our admiration for him. Ah, oh, please take the number. What is going on with guys? Okay, he's a little bored. You know what? I am not in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Let's just ask if he's single before we pursue him any further, even though that response really kind of was a turn off. Let's see where he's at with his uh, his his status. Um, he is completely single, and he, I think he needs to vent. No one's in a good mood when it's stormy out. Um, he's definitely in a bad mood. She's in a bad mood. She's embarrassed now. Um, he's in there Give him himself a pep talk. He's like, dude, get it together. Let's not ruin this night for us. Get it to freaking gather. What are you doing in here talking to yourself? Uh, both of them are in the mirror talking to themselves. This is awkward as heck. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Um, let's just sit and talk for a little bit. Uh, maybe he'll um, calm down. He's probably hungry. He's like, did you have anything in here to eat? Um, oh no, our refrigerator is broken. Come on. All right, let's call emergency repair service. Can't fix the refrigerator. Um, I guess we are kind of rude. We didn't offer him anything to eat. So, um, he came here and got some chips. Those chips look kind of good. But I want to know how they go from plain chips to ruffles as soon as he puts them in his hand. Watch. Plain chips? Ruffles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, let's talk to him. See how, uh, see... Ask for reassurance. I hope this is okay. I'm really sorry about uh, the day. It's okay. It rained. It's a, a little rain won't hurt. I'm just glad to be able to be here to talk to you and spend some time with you. I can't stay long because I do have to get up in the morning. But uh, I forgot he is a music lover, so he's going to enjoy the music. Um, did the guy come over to fix our refrigerator? Sweet. Um so let's give him a self-deprecating joke and maybe we can try to flirt with him again. Yes or no? Um, he seems to have received the, the flirtations okay. It was just asking for the number. Um, that was kind of a turnoff. Maybe he's not... He's a l Okay, no. He's like, look, let's take it slowly. I... I really like you, but you do have another guy in your, you know, in, uh, in waiting. And I just, I want to get to know you. I really want to get to know you, Harmony. I don't want to be a number or a notch on your, your bedposts per se. I want to get to know you. So I really need you to be sure about this. Okay. Um, I, I get it. I, I'm sorry. I will, I will, I will think things over. I really like you a lot. And I think that, uh, you're a really, really nice guy. And you're right. I do need to end things with Adam. Um, 
and I would love to see where this goes, but it's getting late and I really need to get to bed. So wait, let's, let's give him a hug first before we ask him to leave. Um, can we do that? Can we give him a hug? Is he going to take that hug? And then let's go ahead and ask him to go home because it's late and it probably, oh no, she has food poisoning. Great. All right, so she has food poisoning. That's lovely. Uh, so it looks like she's taking tomorrow off. He had a great time. She had a great time. He just let her know that he was really completely serious about pursuing something with her, but she needs to make a decision about what she's going to do about Adam. And he basically told her, look, you're going to definitely have to um, decide because I'm not going to be your side dude. I can't say that I blame him. So we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Not a lot happened, but I definitely wanted to get that date out. Like you guys were requesting with Cairo. It didn't go all that great because of the rain, but this was a, a great opportunity for them to sit down and talk and get to know each other a little bit better. Cairo, as playful as he seems, is a very serious guy. He definitely wants to pursue something. I, he's in that part of his life where he's serious about a relationship and he wants her to be just as serious he doesn't want to risk getting his heart broken uh oh girl she tried though you guys she tried but it just didn't work out drop that bottle right on the floor so in all fairness she definitely needs to um take care of that bit of um or that situation with adam so let me let me know what you guys think about Cairo. Stop it. Just stop it. <laughs> let me get, let me know what you guys think about Cairo. Uh, be honest with me about this situation. I know that uh, we had this situation before with Adam. Adam saying that he wants to take things slow. But Cairo was very um, honest about it from the start. Um, he didn't want, you know, he heard her say that she was still seeing him. She mentioned, he mentioned her, um, in the conversations that they had at the restaurant. So he wants her to make sure that her heart is open for, uh, him. So anyways, you guys know the deal. If you're not a member of our family and want to be a part of the family reunion, please go ahead and drop a, a like and a sub down below and while you're down there ring that bell for notifications every time i upload i do upload at least three times a week again i hope you enjoy this episode of calendar girl and i hope to see you guys again soon until next time ciao dear sam my shuno i am at an impasse mr march doesn't seem as into me as i'd once thought or perhaps we both went into this too far, too fast. There's this old adage, March comes in like a lion and leaves like a lamb. He certainly did. My relationship with Mr. March heated up almost immediately and fizzled out just as swiftly, but there's another classic saying, when you miss one bus, sit and wait because another one is just down the road. Enter Mr. April. I didn't have to wait long. The downtime between he and Mr. March was minimal. As a matter of fact, he'd been there the entire time but I wasn't ready for his southern charms. That sweeter than iced tea on a hot summer day smile has me mesmerized. A gentleman's gentleman indeed. To think I tried so hard to pair him up with another. Meanwhile, missing out on what could be something amazing. Speaking of incredible, dinner. It was superb. Even a little rain couldn't spoil a great night. His conversation was endearing and honest. He was open about 
his intentions and expressed that he wanted me to be just as available. <laughs> An elegant way of saying, finish the one chapter in your dating life before we can start one of our own. Sincerely, Calendar Girl.